Hello, this is uh, Rock and Ronnie here. Welcome from uh, if you're tuning in from eBay or uh, on YouTube, or if it's one of the, my uh, subscribers from the VC. Welcome to my new video. This is going to be about part two: how to package and ship LP records. Now I've got a video on there already, and I bought a box. I bought these boxes, these black ones, and the reason I was using these boxes is because you know I got a deal on it. The guy who had the boxes had made them for somebody else and the guy didn't purchase them so I got a deal on them. I got them at cost or whatever I guess. They were 80 cents a piece delivered to my door and that was about the best deal I could find on a box and I made it work. Well he's had to make new boxes since and now here's the box that he's made. Now they're a dollar twenty a box. Well now they're getting too expensive. You know, but with this older style, if you remember, you had to take the record, wrap it up, take it out, of course, and you know, you had to put the, the stiffeners on there and put the record in, tape it all up. It was a lot of work. Now, these stiffeners, I make them myself, but if you have to buy them online, they're like 50 cents a piece. So now, you're looking at, you know, $1.70. And that, that's not including packing tape and labels and all the other stuff that goes along with it. You know, you got to try to keep your shipping costs down because that little bit of profit you made on that record, you don't want it to be all lost on packaging materials because that's this stuff adds up quick. Now, what most people do because of that fact, they just go out and buy the cheapest box they can find, and it's called the LP mailer box. But I have got a lot a lot of bad records this way. I get a lot of people still using this box from eBay. They ship me records and I get a lot of damaged records as this record here I just got the other day. Now you can see that the, the corner and this is the way he shipped it. You know, now first of all when you get a record and you see you hear that the record is allowed to bounce around inside the mailer box. That does a lot of damage. You don't want that at all. If you package your record and you shake it, always shake it after and listen to it. If it's moving around in there, take it apart and change the way you've done it because you're going to end up with damage. And always, you always need to take the record out of the cover. And the guy didn't do it this time. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but you see here the seam has been split. The record has actually come through because it was allowed to move around in the box. It's come through now, and see now it's split, split the seam open. And another thing that happens, when that record starts coming through the seam of the cover, it's gonna, that is gonna start scratching the record. So now you sent the guy the record, their cover's damaged, he didn't buy, he wanted a near mint record. Now he's got a, a cover with a seam split. He would never have bought, paid that big money for that record if it had a seam split, he would have bought something else. And so now, the seller's responsible for this. If the guy gets it in the condition it's not as described, you put a case on you, and he'll get his money back. So, so you don't want that happening, because now, if he, even if he sends you the record back, now the record's it's turning into a piece of junk that nobody's going to want, or if they do, you're not going to get your money's worth out of it. And again, if the record starts coming through, it's going to scratch the record, and now you ended up with nothing, something that nobody's going to want. So when you take care in shipping, it protects you, protects your profit, what it does. And a lot of drama, which you don't want, from eBay. So this LP mailer box, this stuff's something that I'm going to use. And when I see a record shipped in this like this, I just start, it's a red flag right there. Maybe the guy doesn't even know how to grade records if he's doing stuff like this. Okay, so like I said, you know, there's different kinds of boxes out there, and the one I'm using isn't maybe maybe the best one there is, but it's about what you can find at a price, and you can make it work, where the records won't get damaged in shipping. Just wanted to share a couple other boxes that I found over the over time. This is a box at deep discount. I got a bought a record from them, and this is the box that came in. And Amazon has a box very similar to this, but there was a seller on eBay that was using them and I contacted them and they said, yeah, they'll sell me the box, 
but they want two dollars a piece for the box. Well, it's just too much money. But the nice thing about these Amazon and this deep discount box is the way it works is it's just got a little flap on the side. Put your record in there. And then, you know, you're done. Now, see, the record is inside here. It's nowhere near the corner. The record is actually inside this, the inside here. So it's protecting all the record from that. And, of course, you know, to package it properly, you'd have to take the record out of the cover, put it on top, put it back in the, the, uh, the outer sleeve, and maybe wrap it up, and then put it in there. But that kind of a box. And so, you know, I went online and I got the phone number for a deep discount. And I said, hey, I've got one of your records came in this really nice box. I was wondering who I could talk to in your company to purchase the boxes. And boy, their customer service is lacking. The, the person on the phone is like, oh, well, you know, those people in, the, in, the, in the shipping, they don't have any phones there. We can't talk to them. I don't know. We don't have any uh, customer service for that, whatever. So, you know, maybe you could get it. Maybe you could find out how to get that box. I couldn't. I ran. I didn't have any luck doing that. Another box that's really good. It's kind of on the same idea. Now, this is Music Direct. This is the way they ship their records. Again, they've got stiffeners on here. They're going to take your record. They're going to put a couple stiffeners on it, depending on, you know, how thick the record is or how many records you're going to put in this box. Then it folds over. Folds over on itself. And again, see, the record is inside here. It's protected. The corners are protected. The record can't get damaged now. So that's the idea that you're trying to, when you get a box or you ship a record, that's kind of the idea. You want to keep it away, you know, you want to keep it away from the edges of the box. But this is a thick, heavy box. This is not something that you're going to want to ship overseas because it's the shipping costs are going to get really, really high with something like this. Oh, you know, using media mail, it's not going to matter. But I can imagine the a cost of a box like this too with this stiffeners and everything else, it's probably over $2 a box for, you know, people like us, so. I didn't bother with that either. Then I got a record came in this box. This is called Whiplash, Merchandising Logistics. And I was able to, and it's the WHP LP01. This company made this box specifically to ship LP records because they're record people like you and me, and they know what, what's required. So it's pretty straightforward. The, uh, the box, of course, is going to come like this, and you've got to fold it up. And once you've got it folded, it looks like this. So now, if we're going to use this box, and see it's got little bumpers on each side, and little flaps that fold up to protect the record when it's in there. So now what are we going to do? Well here, let me, let me, so what happens if you take your record and you put it inside here, and you fold it up, yeah, you hear that? Uh, that's not going to work. You're going to have to do something to fix that. The record's still going to get damaged, even in this type of box because of the movement inside, the record's allowed to move around inside the box. So what are we going to do to fix that? Well, this is how you're going to ship any record using any box. You've got to take the record out of the cover. So I can find it. You put it on top. Now there's a couple different kinds of outer sleeves. You've got this type of outer sleeve with open on one end. And then there's the Japanese resealable outer sleeve. This type worker goes inside. And you can 
seal that record up like that. I like those, but I know I no longer currently use these type for my record collection because what happens is some see that that strip on the back is sticky. If you don't always keep care and close them over, and I've had one record where it, it, it laid it down, and of course I was careless and I laid it on top of the cover, and when I went to take it off, it tore all the paper right off the record because it was a very 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 delicate record, and so, uh, and you know, and then over time it you've got it sticks to this, it's sticking to that, so um, I'm not using these anymore. Hey, but they're there's it's a good outer sleeve to use for shipping. But I'm using these because I get a lot of them from when I purchase records. A lot of people use these. So I just reuse what I have. It's about the packaging materials is about what can you get for the best price? What, what, where do you work? What, what do they have out there? For if they do any shipping, if you're in a business that does get products in that are shipped to you or you ship out, there's probably stuff that you, you, can, you can get for free. So that's what I do. I, you know, I was used to get some boxes from work, and I used to cut up all the the stiffeners, and I used to get some bubble wrap from work. And uh, but you know what? Uh, the uh, the seller that I buy from, they use this type of bubble wrap, and I get a, quite a bit of it. So I just reuse the stuff that I, I get. And so what I do now, and another thing, is you see this this foam stuff. We just a certain product we get at work, and it's it's a I mean it's a big sheet. It's like bed sheets of this stuff. So it's the same idea. What I do with this is once my I have my record now in its inner sleeve inside the outer sleeve like this. I've got to secure that a little bit better than it's secured. So I put it on like. So, you can see it in the camera, I don't know, but kind of with the corner sticking out. And then I can fold it up and I can kind of get that record kind of like a little baby, kind of snug right in that little blanket. You know, I like to be snug in it. So let's snug that record up a little bit in there so it doesn't want to move around at all. Give it a nice one. And now, this thing does this the same purpose. It's just a different type of material. You know, you can use that, put that on there, same thing. You could use newspaper. You can use uh, craft paper. Anything you've got that you're able to use that does that, you sort of suits that purpose. So now that I've got the record, with the bubble wrap on it, I put it back in here, and uh, now depending, you might be able to put a couple records in there, but if not, you want to make sure the record's nice and secure in there. So you might want to put, if you don't have two or three records, you might want to put another piece of bubble wrap or something on top of there, and then of course fold it over, and now when we've got the box folded up, let's have a listen now. Yeah, see, it's quiet. So we know that we're not gonna, that record is perfectly secure in there. And uh, these boxes now, you can get 125 per batch. You can order, you know, 250, right? Ordered 125 of these at a time. And the price delivered to your house is hundred and fifty dollars so it works out to a dollar twenty the same price that I was paying for these which I had to have stiffeners and use all kinds of tape and and it was a big production and to make the, all that stuff and it was still I was just using that box because I could make it work now this box is a lot easier to use this it's not, I wouldn't say any better, but for the money, it's just, it's cheaper in the long run because now I don't have to have the stiffeners to go with it. 
So this box ends up being cheaper than the other box. And it's a great product. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any suggestions or any comments, please uh, leave some comments in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.